Gracious people, yet another time we give glory to God. Worship the Lord. Is in you, Lord, my strength. Is in you, Lord, and my hope. Is in you, Lord, is you, it's in you. My life is in you, Lord, and my strength. Is in you, Lord, and my hope. Is in you, Lord, is you. I will praise is in you, Lord, and my strength is in you, Lord, and my hope is in you, Lord, in you, is in you. My life is in you, Lord, and my strength is in you, Lord, and my hope is in you, Lord, in you, is in you. I will praise you with all of my heart. I will praise you with all of my strength, with all of my mind, with all of my strength. Oh, my hope is in you. My life is in you, Lord, and my strength. Glory, Father, we bless your name for this broadcast yet again. We cover it with the blood of Jesus. We cover this broadcast with the blood of Jesus. We decree the blood of Jesus over this day, over this morning, over this time, over this season, over this airwaves. We plead the blood of Jesus over this timeline and decree that the armies of heaven are ascending and descending upon this altar even as we gather to pray, as we gather to read the word, as we gather to declare the word, as we gather to speak the word, as we gather to exalt the Lord. Even in this time that we are in as the Lord is moving in the nation. So Father, we welcome your presence. We continue to welcome you. You are welcome, Holy Spirit, to continue with all the activities of this day, my Father, as we come to read your word, as we come to share testimony and pray in victory today. Because God, of your great favor, O oh God, because we know that you are with us, O oh God, because we know that you are our portion, O oh my Father. We worship you, God. We honor you, Jehovah. There is none like you, Father. We decree that Africa and the nations shall be saved in the mighty name of Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We honor you, Father. We worship you. Hallelujah. Come on, begin to worship God wherever you are. That's right. We bless you, Jesus. We honor you. Come pray. Hallelujah. In the spirit. Keep on praying. Hallelujah. Keep on praying. Keep on praying. Keep on seeking. Keep on looking for God. Oh, keep on praying. Hallelujah, what a joy to be in the presence of the Lord, just to be able to access the spirit realm in the physical and also to continue to glorify God. Today we got victory, 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 victory resounds in the tents of the righteous of the Lord. And uh, 
I just want to bless the Lord. We're going to start reading this in the Swahili uh, in Psalms 55. Today we are on day 55 by the grace of God. God has enabled us to be on day 55 and we bless the Lord even as we come together. Hallelujah. Here is the word of God. You know, I just think I'm, I'm so, so inspired by Ezra in the word of the Lord. Ezra was in the word of the Lord when he spoke to the nation of Israel and he declared the word publicly in the square. He read the scrolls over and over as the nation was listening. So now as we read this word, I know that there's something supernatural that follows obedience. And I thank God that when we obey, when God says do this, then you do it, then it's a good thing. Hallelujah. So today is day 55 since we began this journey of Psalm and we are praying through the Psalm. And also at the same time, we are you know, continuing to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Hallelujah. E mungu, uisikilize sala yangu, wala usijifiche ni kuomba porehema. Unisikilize na kunijibu, nimetanga tanga ni kilalama na kuugua. That's verse 2 of Psalm 55 in Swahili. Kwa sababu ya sauti ya adui, kwa sababu ya dhulma yake yule muovu. Kwa maana wananitupa, wananitupia uovu. Na kwa gadhabu wananiudhi. Moyo wangu naumia ndani yangu na hofu za mauti zimeniangukia. Hofu na tetemeko limenijia na hofu kubwa imenifunikiza. Verse 6. Nikasema ningekuwa na mabawa kama njiwa, ningerukia mbali na kustarehe. Ningekwenda zangu mbali, ningetua jangwani, ningefanya haraka kuzikimbia dharuba na tufani verse 9 e bwana uangamize uzifichue ndimi uzichafue ndimi zao hallelujah hallelujah glory be to god maana nimeona dhulma na fitina katika mji mchana na usiku uzunguka kutani kwake kutani mwake uovu na taabu zimo ndani yake tamaa mbaya zimo ndani yake Dulma na, na hila haziondoki mitaani mwake. Listen to verse 11. Tamaa mbaya zimo ndani yake. Dulma na hila haziondoki mitaani mwake. Kwa maana aliyetukana aliyetukana si adui. Kama ndivyo ningevumilia. Aliyejitukuza juu yangu siye anichukiae. Kama ndivyo ningejificha asinione. Bali ni wewe mtu mwenzangu, rafiki yangu. Niliyejuana nawe sana tulipeana shauri tamu na kutembea nyumbani mwa Mungu pamoja na mkutano. Hey, listen to that. Verse 15 says mauti na ip, iwapate kwa ghafla na washuka kuzimu waangalie wangali hai na washuke kuzimu wangali hai maana uovu huu makaoni mwao na katikati yao. Nami nitamwita Mungu na Mungu ataniokoa. Hey, glory to God. I want you to underline verse 16. We are on the Swahili version. We are coming to the English version very shortly. It says Nami nitamwita Mungu na Mungu ataniokoa. Jioni asubuhi na adhuhuri nitalalama na kuugua naye ataisikia sauti yangu. Ameiokoa nafsi yangu iwe salama. Asinikaribie mtu maana walioshindana Nami waliweko walikuwa wengi Mungu atasikia na kuwajibu ndiye yeye akae tangu milele mageuzi ya mambo hayawapati hao kwa hiyo hawamchi Mungu hey. verse 20 says ame, ame, amenyosha mkono awadhuru waliopatana naye ame amelihalifu agano lake kinywa chake ni laini kuliko siagi Bali moyo wake ni wavita. Maneno yake ni mororo kuliko mafuta. Bali hayo ni pangawazi. Hey! Hey! Listen to that. We, I'm telling you this is fire. Umuite bwana mzigo wake naye atakutegemeza. Hata mwacha, hata mwacha mwenye haki aondoshwe milele. Hey! Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 22, underline, we are reading in Swahili shortly. It says in verse 23, Nawe, e mungu, utawa lemesha, walifikilie, walifikilie, shimo la, uwabi, la uharibifu, 
Watu wa damu na hila hawataishi nusu ya siku zao bali mimi nitakutumaini wewe praise the lord hallelujah that's the english recital of psalm 55 on this day 55 it says uh, for the director of music with stringed instruments a muskil of david listen to my prayer o oh god do not ignore my plea hear me and answer me my thoughts trouble me and i am in, i am distraught verse 3 Because of what my enemy is saying, because of the threats of the wicked, for they bring down suffering on me and assail me in their anger. My heart is in anguish within me. The terrors of death have fallen on me. Fear and trembling have beset me. Horror has overwhelmed me. I said, "Oh that I had the wings of a dove. I would fly away and be at rest. I would fly, I would flee far away and stay in the desert." I would hurry to my place of shelter from far from the tempest and the storm verse 9 hallelujah glory be to god verse 9 says lord confuse the wicked confound their words for i see violence and strife in the city day and night they prowl about on its wall on its walls malice and abuse are within it destruction for destructive forces are at work in the city threats and lies never leave its streets hallelujah verse 12 hallelujah if you are here you are watching this i want to encourage you to share this video so that uh, the word of god goes far and far and far to as many people as possible so if the lord has graced you to do that start a watch party share this video you know uh, tap like on it comment on it let the lord use you even in your channel as well and even in your uh profile photos and profile in the mighty name of Jesus share this word as the lord enables you verse 11 says destructive forces are at work in the city threats and lies never leave its streets if an enemy were insulting me now listen to verse 12 if an enemy was insulting me i would i could endure it if a foe was rising against me i could hide but it is you a man like myself My companion, my close friend, with whom I enjoyed sweet fellowship at the house of God, as we walk about among the worshipers, let the death of my let death take my enemies by surprise. Let them go down alive to the realm of the dead, for evil finds lodging among them. Hey, 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 hey. Listen to that one. with whom i enjoyed sweet fellowship at the house of god as we walked about among the worshipers let death take my enemies by surprise let them go down alive to the realm of the dead for evil finds lodging among them as for me i call to god and the lord saves me evening morning and noon i cry out in distress and he hears my my voice he rescues me unharmed from the battle waged against me even though many oppose me god who is enthroned from old who does not change he will hear them and humble them because they have no fear of god my companion attacks his friends he violates his covenant his talk is smooth as butter yet war is in his heart his words are more soothing than oil yet they are drawn swords cast your cares on the lord and he will sustain you he will never let the righteous be forsaken hallelujah i want you to underline that i want you to highlight that i want you to magnify that psalm 20, 55 verse 22 cast your cares on the lord and he will sustain you he will never let the righteous be forsaken cast your cares on the lord he will sustain you he will never let the righteous be forsaken but you god will bring down the wicked into the pit of decay the bloodthirsty and deceitful will not live out half their days but as for me i trust in you says the psalmist praise the name of the lord hallelujah beloved of the lord as we have gathered in the nations today we bless the lord for enabling us to come to psalm 55 55 days into the journey of psalms and we bless the lord we continue to press in we continue to honor the lord as the lord continues to mold us as the lord continues to minister to us today 
we want to make victorious prayer points. Hallelujah. Victory prayer points in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord for his goodness. We bless the Lord for his majesty. We bless the Lord for his love. I continue to encourage you to worship, sing songs of praises in your homes. Begin to worship God as you do your laundry, as you do whatever you do. Just worship God. Lift a voice. Don't just play music. Lift a voice to the Lord. Come on, begin to worship the Lord in your homes, in your houses, in your car, in your family, wherever you are. Begin to worship God. Make it a priority. Make it intentional. Make it intentional to praise God. Make it intentional to worship God. Make it intentional to live a victorious life in Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, when the children of Israel were crossing over to their promised land, when they were crossing over from Egypt, the Lord allowed some plagues to come into them. Here in our nation, Kenya, we are seeing floods. We are seeing narrow bee flies. You know, this morning, as I was, um, I, was, I was preparing, as I was praying and preparing for this uh, wonderful time we have here, I just found... Uh, a funny Nairobi fly inside my Bible, you know, this is deep in Nairobi, but I found a Nairobi fly on top of my Bible. I'm going to share that, that picture with you later on. You're going to be able to see it. And I was like, Hey, glory to God. It could not move. It was standing on the, <laughs> I have a photo. I'll show you. I took a picture. It was on the word of God. And I was like, wow. Lord, you're just amazing. The sting of the Nairobi fly was lifted up like this. It was standing, it was right there. I was reading uh, 1, Corinth, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, 23, where, where it talks about the, the Lord's table. Because um, the Lord has put it in my heart to share with my family the Lord's table every night as we continue to do our altar and pray. And I want to encourage you, the Lord's proclamation of his death until he comes is not something that should be uh, a matter of debate. Is something that as a believer, you need to do it in your home. You need to do, you need to break bread, you know, as the early church did. You need to break bread in your home. You need to be able to do that and commit your, yourself to the Lord and to proclaim the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ as many times as possible. As we've read here in this wonderful, wonderful psalm, in verse 17, it says, Evening, morning, and noon, I cry out in distress and he hears my voice. The times of prayer, there's something. Let me give you revelation here. Let me give you revelation. Thrice. Jesus went back to the Lord and prayed, Oh, Father, if it is according to your will, remove this cup from me. He went back to the disciples. He found them sleeping. Yet again, he went back a second time and prayed the same thing. And then he went back a third time. He found them still struggling. He said that he went back and prayed the same thing. There is something powerful when the prayer is repeated. The same thing. Go with it to the Lord three times. You are not disturbing God. <laughs> There's a friend of mine who told me the other day, you know, um, I don't want to pray so much because uh, I feel like I'm disturbing God. You know, when I go to pray, I feel like I'm disturbing God. When I'm telling God the same thing over and over, God knows about my case. Why is it that I have to keep telling him my case and he knows? And he knows my case. Why is it that I have to keep going back to God? And I want to tell you, as the psalmist here is telling us here, that evening, morning, and noon, I cry out in distress, and he hears. He says, as for me, they, I call to God. Verse 17, as we've read in the Swahili, he says, Nami nitamuita mungu na mbwana ataniokoa. Jioni asubui na aduhuri. Nitalalama na kuugua. Nae ataisikia sauti yangu. Hey, how many times is the Lord hearing your voice? How many times is the Lord hearing your voice? How many times is the Lord hearing your voice? Hallelujah. I say, and I mention again, that prayer is something that you ought to be, uh, to be sacrificing your time, sacrificing yourself. You have to take time and uh, expect that the Lord will hear your voice in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory to God. We bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I give you praise. I give you honor. I give you adoration. Hallelujah. There is none like you, Jesus. There is none like you, Lord. Hallelujah. You are worthy, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we praise you. Hallelujah. We worship you. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we praise you. Come on, begin to worship the Lord. Lord, we praise you. Father, we honor you. We continue to press in your presence, O oh Father. We continue to honor you, Father. There is none like you. You are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Glory be to your name, O oh God. We honor you, Father. We bless your name. Hallelujah. Just begin to worship God because, you know, of late, with the church says not being accessible to us, it's a time that, you know, congregational worship is missing. And, uh, the atmosphere needs to be saturated with praises to God. The atmosphere needs to be saturated with children of God singing to Him and glorifying to Him. That's why I'm encouraging you as much as possible to do the same thing in your homes. To do the same thing. Use uh, uh, the, the applications that are there. Use Skype, use Zoom, use Google Talk, whatever that you're going to use that you can be able to gather two, three, four, five, ten, twenty people that just can begin to worship God. Invite me. I am willing to uh, worship God with you as, as, as the Lord enables us. Hallelujah. As we continue to read this word, we are looking at how prayer is critical. You know, prayer is a sacrifice that you have to make. Prayer is a sacrifice. Everybody can sing. Everybody can dance. Everybody can give. Everybody can be able to say, hey, on my CV, I am a Christian. But let me tell you, it takes sacrifice for you to pray because prayer is hard work. It's not an easy uh, task to do. But I thank God because of this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day here today the Lord has given us. Hallelujah! We want to start this with a testimony. Hallelujah! A testimony. A testimony from our sister Dawn, Dawn, Dawn Boogie. She, she sent this video and I was like, um, sis, I'm going to play this video on live video. And um, I just want to thank God for what God is doing, for what God has already done, and for what God has already continued to do. Today is celebrating victory. Today we are declaring we are the head and not the tail. Today we are speaking those things scripture says about us. Today we are declaring those things because if God is able to come in a disease that is being mentioned that this disease has no healing, has no power, has nothing, and through the prayers of the saints... This my sister here, hallelujah, this my sister here has already come out from positive side of COVID-19 into negative side of COVID-19. And today, when I called her earlier, she was with her family and I could just hear the sounds of the children, how excited they were and how amazed they were because God victoriously granted her. So let's just hear from her herself. Praise the name of the Lord. She did not uh, put any um, sound. She's just going to play some cards. And this video, I'm going to uh, post it again. So here we go. My name is Donna. I am a daughter, mother, wife, sister, and friend. And a nurse. I got sick. I could not breathe. Among other things, I got tested for COVID-19 positive. Results positive. Results positive. Let me just pause that. It says results positive. I sent a message. People prayed across the nations. Hallelujah. People called. People came by. People, family, friends made sure I had all that I needed. I love you all, says Donna Boogie. Okay. Uh-huh. 
I got I got better. I got better. People still prayed, called, um, texted, video chatted. We were among those that video chatted here together with our sister Dawn. And then we have people, family, friends made sure I had what I needed and I got tested again. This is after the 14 days, she still went back and they tested again. And this is what she says. I got better. Yes. I got the victory. I got the victory. Yes. I am negative for COVID-19 because God healed and yours and your prayers, they, he saw you called and loved someone else. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. What a testimony. What a joy. What a powerful, powerful declaration here that indeed, I just want to dedicate this song to you, my sister. I know you are not a Swahili speaker, but I'm going to just uh, uh, play this song by my sister, Barbara Aston. It's called... Uh, Kwadamu uh, yako. It means that by the blood of Jesus you are healed. By the blood of Jesus you are healed. And I want us. We're gonna put the song here, and we're gonna be able to sing it out, and we're gonna be able to read it out, and we're gonna be able to declare the word of the Lord together with our sister Barbara, because it's by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah! It's by the blood of Jesus that Don Boogie today is rejoined with her family. We have victory. We declare victory. We mention victory. Story, even upon them that are sick right now, we continue to pray with you. We continue to pray with your families. We continue to declare the goodness of the Lord that God is able to use even this media to continue to move his power through the nations. Hallelujah. We are several continents, several seas across. Hallelujah. Until that day when the Lord descends down the city of Jerusalem, there will be no sea. Hey, glory to God. The book of Revelation. Revelation. Do you know that part? That there will be no sea, no more sea. Sea is there to separate continents and nations and all that. But the sea will go away. Judgment will come upon the sea as well. And it, hey, glory to God. So let us worship God together with Sister Barbara here with our wonderful song. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> says is that if it's not you Lord by your blood I have been healed by your blood I have been healed if it is not you I would be lost that is the testimony that our sister Dawn has just given us so let's just worship God if it was not you I would have completely I am so glad for your blood I give you all the honor oh Lord for you, for you, I could not have been, I could not have saved myself. I could not have saved myself. Yes, Lord. By your blood, I am healed. If it was not you, I would be lost. If it was not you, I would be lost. So it's a very easy song. It's a brand new song. Probably you have not been able to hear it before. I want to introduce Barbara Aston, Kodamu Yako. It's a wonderful song. Let's just worship God together. Hallelujah. As we prepare to come to make those declarations and make those prayers and exalt the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's worship the Lord together. Come on, see where we're in. 
get potea Kama si wewe Nige potea Na kushukuru potea muyako Na kupaheshi mazote mama Kukweli mimi Kamesi ngeji okowa By your blood I am healed If it was not you I would have been completely lost If it was not you I would be lost If it was not you Lord I would be lost, Lord. If it was not you, I would be lost, Lord. I worship you, Father. I give you glory. Hey! Your blood. By your blood, I am healed. Hallelujah. By your blood, I am set free. Set free. No more chains. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Mimi, Niko Huru. Damu yako. Mimi, Nime Pona. Kwa damu yako. Mimi, Niko Huru. Kwa damu yako. Mimi, Nime Pona. Kwa damu yako, mimi niko huru. Damu yako, mimi nime pona. Kwa damu yako, mimi niko huru. By your blood, by your blood. Yako, nime pona. Kama si wewe nige potea Kama si wewe nige potea Kama si wewe nige potea Hallelujah, Barbara Astro. We bless you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah, we give you glory, Father. There is none like you, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be a prayer. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy. God. You know, in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. And let me tell you, this year is a broadcast to be able to encourage you to go into your place of prayer, to go into the time of worshiping God, to go into a time of seeking God, to be able to do this. If the Lord can enable you, you know, just to do it live, do it live so that your friends can know that, you know, the government changed with your life. You are now in the government of the kingdom of God. That your trust and your dependence is upon the Lord. Deuteronomy 28, 13 says, You are the head and not the tail. And at this time, we want to come and we want to make some declarations in the name of Jesus. It is a part of God's own agenda that you may prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. We want to pray with the people in, uh, in, the, in the Peace Valley. We, we like calling uh, what they call Rift Valley. I like calling it Peace Valley. In the Peace Valley of Kenya, we want to believe God with the people there because it is a tough time there. We have dozens, thousands and thousands and thousands. I don't know if you can make that come up. Um, uh, at this time, I can try and make that come up in the mighty name of Jesus. Of that one, of those, uh, you know, um, narrow bee flies that have come, you know, this I believe is a judgment of the Lord because I do not see how, you know, they just come in millions, you know. They are, we are used to seeing them and we know to identify them. 
But I saw this on a tweet here on, on this one of these news uh, channels here. And you can see how millions, millions of them. Can you see how millions they are? Can you see the millions of them that are here? Millions. These are just all these are. If I told you are to throw somebody there, they would completely be turned into acid burn. Because these creatures, they are tiny little tiny little insects. And you can see how big this infestation has come. And this is um, just one of the pavements uh, there in uh, that, that town. And you can see, this is here in uh, where, this, where is this place? This street was about, uh, um, you know, Cabaranet town. This is Baringo County. You know, they, these things have, have, have invaded Baringo. And we are beginning to see them in Nairobi as well. The other day I, I met a friend of mine and the daughter had been, you know, uh, it had passed on her face. And we want to pray against uh, the planting of the enemy. That, you know, in the day of, of old, when, when the, there was judgment, when there were plagues that were coming into, into, into Egypt, when the Lord was about to set his people free out of Egypt, there were ten plagues. And those plagues that were there in that time, there were plagues that were, you know, frogs. There were frogs. There was, there was darkness. There was the river Nile turned into blood. You know, all these areas, they had different significances and I will not be able to get into that right now because we are in a place of victory, in a place of declaration. But we want to pray. You want to pray for your family. You want to pray for your home. You want to pray for, your, uh, for the people that are there. That as you are there, you're not going to find, you know, those boils that are coming from these creatures, you know. This is actually one of the, one of the judgments that the Lord has sent out to the nations. And let me tell you, you can just be there saying, oh, it is because of the rains that we have the narrow bee flights, because of the rains we're having the floods, it's because of the rains that we're having this kind of disaster, that kind of disaster. We understand as the nations of the earth are being called into attention. There are even places where they are home in quarantine, in their large numbers, and yet there is a tornado that is about to come. Can you imagine what is going to happen in those places? It is a time for us to seek God and announce his victory in the nations of the earth, irrespective of the tribulation, irrespective of the difficulty, irrespective of the difficult times that we may have be faced, that we may be faced with. I want you to exercise that same, same decision that you made when you made the Lord Jesus as your Lord and Savior, that as for me and my house. I will serve the Lord. Hallelujah. That you shall just be spotting those, like I was telling you earlier, how I went to pick my Bible. And I just, a few minutes, a few minutes um, before that, I was actually praying just over that place. I mean, I, I had my Bible open and this, this tiny Nairobi fly was there. The Lord was able to show me, look, Maybe a few minutes later, my son would have been walking there and that fly would have touched them. And that, you know, when they touch the skin, they leave a very ugly mark. When I was a boy, when I was a boy once, uh, when I was a small boy, I, I think it, I, I got an encounter with a narrow bee fly. And I know that um, when it touches you, you need to have um, this thing called what? You need to have uh, uh, a, 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 a cream that you can use, something that has mepiramine, malate. You can just go to the chemist and tell them, just give me an antihistamine for for this particular uh, problem. Just have it in your home, just in case uh, those uh, insects touch your skin. It's good to have them. But we do not want to be any of us that shall come across those creatures touching our skin. Because we are hiding ourselves in the Lord. We are hiding ourselves in the Lord. You know, in Daniel chapter 6 verse 3. Then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and the princes. Because an excellent spirit was in him. And that the thought and that the king thought to set him over the whole realm. A spirit of excellence. It's something that you can still pray right now. I thank God for my sister Stella. She had posted something and I read it. She had posted something that was saying, uh, because of Corona can actually go two ways. Because of Corona, the Lord can make you prosperous. Because of Corona, you can go down into a very destructive location of depression and difficulties. So we want to believe God that we are not going to go the direction of difficulties and all those problems, but we are going to go into a place because of Corona. I went deep with God that God revealed his glory to me. 
the Lord revealed his glory. That glory that I was reading about. The Billy Graham of our time is not there. He's gone. Billy Graham is gone. Reynard Bonke is gone. Our fathers have rested. But we have seen the things that the Lord has done in those days. That God, we have heard of your fame. We, we have heard of your fame. We've heard of the fame, um, uh, you know, the, the fame that we, we saw that the Lord has enabled us. You know, the fame that we saw the Lord do. That we can sing and declare these words and just say, Father. You're pouring out your spirit. Pour out your spirit upon us, O Lord. We're so mindful at times that indeed of our weaknesses which seem to hinder the advance. Yes, Lord. Forgive yes. Us Forgive us, Lord. We don't want to miss out. We, we want to be participators. We want to be spectators. Mm. We, want we want to be, be participators. Yes. In a demonstration of, of your power. power that's being yes. shown in the earth. Yes. Lord, we heard of your faith. We stand in our duties. Renew them, them in our days. In our time. time. Make them know. Hear our cry. Hear our cry. Lord, be part of your faith. We stand in awe of your wonderful deeds, O oh Lord. Lord, we are part of your faith. We stand in awe of your wonderful deeds. Renew them in our day. Renew them in our day. chapter 17 verse 45 to 46 first samuel 45 first samuel chapter 17 verse 45 and 46 then said david to the philistines you come to me with a sword and with a spear but with the shield and i come to you in the name of the lord of hosts the god of the armies of heaven with whom you have defied this day the Lord will deliver you into my hands 
I will smite you and take your head from you. And I will give the carcasses of the, give your carcasses to the host. I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines this day to the folds of the air and to the wild beasts of the earth that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. 1 Kings 18, 36 to 37. And it came to pass at that time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near and said, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, let me known today that thou art God in Israel, and that I am thy servant, and that I have done all these things that are thy word. Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that these people may know that you art the Lord God, and that you have turned their heart back again. Hallelujah. First Kings chapter 18, 37, 36, 37. Deuteronomy 33, 25 to 27. Thy shoes shall be iron. Oh, glory be to God. Let me read this in, uh, in the NIV. Glory be to God. Turn this one. This one I want us to turn. This one I want us to turn in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We are in the place of declaring victory. We are in the place of declaring victory in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 33. Deuteronomy chapter 33. Deuteronomy chapter 33. Deuteronomy chapter 33. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy 33 verse number what? Verse number 25. And 27 and this is what the word of the Lord says it says the bolts of your gates will be iron and bronze and your strength will equal your days there is no one there is no one like the God of Jeshurun who rides on the heavens to help you and the clouds in his majesty the eternal God is your refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms he will drive out your enemy before you saying destroy him destroy him hallelujah declare that word of god hallelujah deuteronomy 33 verse 25 to 27 the bolts of your gates shall be bronze and iron and your strength will equal your days come on declare that one in your life your strength my strength shall equal my days in the name of jesus christ yes there is none like the god of jeshron who rides on the heavens to help me today and on the clouds of his majesty the eternal god is my refuge and underneath are his everlasting arms. He will drive out my enemy before me and destroy him. Saying destroy him in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 118 verse 10 to 12. It says all nations compass me about. But in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. They compass me about. Yes they compass me about. But in the name of the Lord I will destroy them. They compass me like bees. But they are quenched as the fire of the horns. For in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. Hey, glory be to God. Say that one again in Psalm 118 verse 10. Hallelujah. It's a time of victory. It's a time of being unashamed for our God. It's a time saying that, yes, I am not afraid. Yes, I am bold as a lion. Yes, the word of the Lord says in the book of Proverbs 28 verse 1. That the, right, uh, that, that the wicked man flees, though no one pursues. But the righteous are as bold as a lion. And that is your declaration. Do not be afraid. Declare it. Yes, in that Zoom meeting with your people, say, my family and I were just about to have a prayer. Can we pray before we start this meeting? If you are Mr. CEO, nobody will say no. Even if you are the subject, even if you are the cleaner, if you say, can we pray? I've never seen a place prayer has been resisted outrightly, apart from in a satanic altar. Even drunk people, if you go to tell them, can we pray? They usually say, okay, let us pray. So if you have the capacity to pray, I want to tell you that God is going to change situations around your condition in the mighty name of Jesus. As the locusts are in the land, as the narrow bee flies are in the land, as the flood is in the land, as coronavirus is in the land, our God shall remain our strength. Our God shall remain our help. Our God shall remain our help. As he says, all the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord, I cut them off. They surrounded me on every side, but in the name of the Lord, I I cut them off. They swarmed around me like bees, but they died out as quickly as burning thorns. 
But in the name of the Lord, I cut them off. Hallelujah. Come on, declare it in your situation. Psalm 118, 10 to 12. I want you to say that in your situation. Come on, say it with boldness. Declare the word of God. Let me tell you something about the word of God. The word of God can never be resisted by powers of darkness. The word of God is fire. It is a sword. When you pray your own prayers, maybe you're asking for your own needs. Your needs can be resisted. But your prayers cannot be resisted if they are the word of God. The word of God, when it arises up and directly into the throne room of God, the dragon that may try to come in the midst, in the heavens to try and block those prayers, the word of God is a sword. It has to give way. It has to give way. The angels get an easy access when we are using the word of God for prayer as opposed to when we are chanting things and reciting things that are not of the word of God. So when you are declaring the word of God, hallelujah, let me tell you something about repetition. When you notice the people that have come from the kingdom of darkness, one thing that they tell us is that how to invoke the spirits, they chant certain things. They say certain things. You know, we had stories about Alibaba and the 40 thieves. And we never thought of them as a spiritual thing. And up, actually, up to now, you might never think of it as a spiritual thing. But every time that Alibaba stands at the door, he says some words and the door opens. Eh? You notice that? You think it is just something for children. These things that they try to indoctrinate our children with, cartoons, movies that you, you are watching, even as you have just renewed your Netflix, and you are trying to tell yourself, I want to watch Tyler Perry movies. I want to watch movies that are, you know, glorifying God. My friend, use your Bible. Get your scriptures. Begin to pray the word of God. Let It's good. Okay. For me, right now, the place I am with this kind of walking with God, I'd rather not have them because... I just want to, I want Jesus. I want, I want the Lord. I just want, I don't, I don't want to mix myself up. I just want the Lord. I just want the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. I want the word in the morning. I want the Lord in the noon. I want the Lord in the evening. I want him. As he walk through the valley of the shadow of death, he shall not come near you. Praise the name of the Lord. As we continue, Deuteronomy 28, 13 says this. And the Lord shall make you the head and not the tail. You shall be above and not beneath. If you hearken to the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command you this day, and observe to do them. Jeremiah 1.19 And they shall fight against you, but they shall not prevail against you. For I am with you, says the Lord, to deliver you. Jeremiah 1.19 These scriptures I'm giving you, write them down. Highlight them in your Bible. Put them out. Type out as a, as, as a PDF. Write it out there. Post it somewhere. Declare it. Let the word of God be visible to you. Let the word of God be available to you. Whenever you need it. When your gadget is off, may you find that you can see it on your fridge. If your gadget is not charged, may you find that you can actually read it on your screensaver. That you can be able to get the word of God internally. That you can get the word of God. That because in Jeremiah 31, 31, it says, In that day, I will make a covenant with them. No longer will they have their laws written on the scroll. But I will write them in their hearts and in their minds. You will not need to remind us. We are in that covenant right now. The new covenant in Jeremiah 31, 31, that the Lord spoke to Jeremiah. He said that in that day, in those days, let me just take you there. Because I believe the Lord is doing something very powerful. There's someone here that the Lord has just, uh, uh, you know, uh, quickened. Uh, you know, the Lord has just uh, changed your situation from being a place of fear to a place of redemption, to a place of uplifting, to a place of being unashamed of the gospel, to a place where you are going to declare the word of God. He says, the time is coming, declares the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, it will not be like the covenant I made with their forefathers we, when I took them by the hand to lead them out of Egypt because they broke my covenant. Though I was a husband to them, declares the Lord, this is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel after that time, declares the Lord. I will put my law in their minds and write it on their hearts. I will be their God and they will be my people. No longer will a man teach his neighbor or his man, his brother saying, know the Lord, because they will all know me from the least of them to the greatest, declares the Lord. For I will forgive their wickedness and I will remember their sins no more, declares the Lord. This is that time that the scripture says. This is that time. I want us to also look at Nahum 1, chapter verse, uh, um, Nahum 
chapter 1 verse 7 to 9. It says, the Lord is good. I want you to mention this one, also highlight it. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. And he knows them that trust in him. But with an, overturn, with an overrunning flood, he will make an utter end of the place thereof. And the darkness shall pursue his enemies. So the enemies of the Lord be, be warned. Yesterday we declared about the flying scroll. And that flying scroll, let me tell you what happens. A believer who understands his position and is able to legislate in the courts of heaven. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, the advocates here, my brother Stephen, my sister Viola, and all the other advocates that the Lord has placed here, my brother Emmanuel, all of you advocates of the high court. When you go to court, you stand before the, the judge and you have your evidence and you have to talk to this judge and tell the judge according to this constitution here and here and here this is what happened i want to plea in case of my client who is in trouble yes you are saying that my client did one two things but i want to be able to submit to you that he is legible to be set free because of the blood of Jesus that was pled, that was that was cut for his uh, sins. You understand? So in the courts of heaven, there is a, uh, there's an advocate, and Jesus is our advocate. Jesus is our advocate. You understand that? Jesus is our advocate. He stands every time that the enemy comes to accuse you in the courts of heaven. Then he asks, "This person is guilty of sexual immorality." And now he's saying he's born again. What do you plead? Well, you as the accused, you are, even if you are the murderer, the what, the what, the what, you are deep in satanism. The moment you come to the Lord Jesus Christ and the Lord snatches you like a burning stick from the fire, then and only then you stand not condemned. In the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 1 it says, it says that therefore, there is no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. When the enemy comes in to bring condemnation to your heart, I want you to hold out that scripture and declare according to the book of Romans chapter 8. Hallelujah. Romans, Romans chapter 8. Romans, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Lord is with us. The Lord is upon us. Hallelujah. It says in Romans chapter 8 verse 1, life through the spirit. Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Because Christ Jesus, the law, of sin, the law of the sin of the spirit, set me free from the law of sin and death. You understand that one? That Christ is our advocate, is our, is our faithful witness. Glory be to God. Christ is our faithful witness. Let me tell you that one. It's the book of Revelation. You need to get this even as you begin to mention in victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I still, you know, just I'm just celebrating with my sister Dawn, just seeing how... You know, the Lord is faithful. The Lord is able to touch and restore. The Lord is able to cause, you know, turn around things that are difficult to become very, very possible for him. In the book of Revelation 1.5, it says, From Jesus Christ, who is a faithful witness and the firstborn from the dead and the ruler of the kings of the earth, who to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood and has made us a kingdom of a kingdom and priest to serve his god to serve his god and father to him be glory forever and ever amen that god is our faithful witness jesus is our faithful witness Jesus is our faithful witness, that we are able to know that Jesus is our faithful witness, that indeed he makes those words and is a witness, is a faithful and true witness. Here he says um, in the book of Revelation 3 verse 14, he says, To the angel in the church of Laodicea, write, These are the words of the Amen, Hallelujah, the faithful and true witness, the ruler of God's creation. Hey! You understand the power that we have in the Lord Jesus Christ? Do you understand that you are able to operate in the realm of the spirit using the word of God? You may say you are not too much religious. You may say you do not know the Lord. But I want to charge you today that even as we are coming into the presence of the Lord, as we go in, as I ask, as we usher ourselves into the presence of the Lord, yes, this video you can still go back 
and check it on our YouTube channel. You can be able to view it. You can be able to rewind those prayer points. You can pause and listen. It's a rich resource. Praise the name of the Lord. That the Lord has deposited and that he has deposited these things. Now as the enemy was thinking, oh, uh, this one, uh, this one, is, he can just stay here and take photographs. That he did not know that the God of suddenly arise is our God. Hallelujah. And that's why I encourage you, beloved, wherever you are, that you can begin to victoriously live for Jesus in that particular situation that you are facing right now, in that particular condition that you are facing right now, our God is going to raise a banner over you in the mighty name of Jesus. We want to trust God that even as we see the floods, as we see the locusts in the land, as we see the Nairobi fleas in the land, they are stingers. They have the sting, you know, the, the sting of the Nairobi fly. When it touches your skin, it actually leaves a, a very undesirable effect on your skin. And we want to believe God that by his power, his power will just remove their wings and cause them not to fly and crush them in the mighty name of Jesus to them that are in the house of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. These things will not come near you. In the days of the plagues, the boils that came upon the people in Egypt, all those boils, the slaves were wondering, oh, what is happening to our boss? Our boss has all the boils. Even Pharaoh himself has those, had those boils. When the plague came upon darkness, even the torch could not be able to, even deep darkness, the darkness was so deep, the Lord judged the heavens. They were worshipping sun. The Lord judged it. There was darkness. They were worshipping the Nile. The Lord judged it. There was blood. Let me tell you, the last judgment that the Lord brought, I thank God for my brother Michael, he shared this with me. The last judgment that the Lord brought was against the goddesses and the gods of the sea. All those things that they were worshipping, those people of Egypt. Even up to now, we have problems with idolatry in the nation of Egypt. The pyramids, the mummification, the different types of strange religions found there. Actually, they say that close to 40% of the idols on earth are in Israel, are in Egypt. The Lord have mercy on you, Egypt. May the Lord cause you to return back to the Lord. And the church in Egypt, I pray that you understand your position. It is not a position of religion. It's a position of prayer. It's a position of the Amen, the faithful and true witness of God. It's that one that we are calling on. Our God, their faithful advocate. I, th I thank God how, we try, how it says in the, in the King James. Hallelujah. Let me just read it here. In the King James here in Revelation 1 verse 5. Revelation 1 verse 5 in the King James. Praise the Lord. This is the New King James. So let me just see how it says it here. It says in the New King James. It says, hallelujah. I even have it highlighted. Praise the Lord. It says, from, the, from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth, to him who loved us and washed us from our sins by his blood, and has made us kings and priests to his God and Father, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus is our advocate. I don't think that's the verse that I'm telling you. Jesus is our advocate. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the advocate of sinners. Jesus Christ is the advocate. He's the one who protects us. He's the one who protects us. He's the one who makes intercession for us. He's the one who declares for us. You know? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's there in the book of... Uh, 1 John, 1 John, praise the name of the Lord. 1 John chapter 2, hallelujah, glory be to God. Where is uh, 1 John? We need to open a new study here and just get to 1 John, praise the name of the Lord. 1 John, 1 John, 1 John chapter 2, verse number, mm -hmm. verse number 1. It says, uh-huh. Yes, this is the one. 
here it will say it very very clearly in the new king james that is the book after second peter praise the lord the book after second peter let me just present it here the book after second peter is the book of uh first john first john chapter 2 if you are there first john chapter 2 praise the name of the lord we glorify his name we honor him Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for giving us this time to honor and praise you. He says, My little children, these things I write to you so that you may not sin. And if anyone sins, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. Hey, you understand? So, guys, here it is. It's in 1 John chapter 2, right there. You can see it? 1 John chapter 2 verse 1 we have an advocate we have a faithful defense we have an advocate so i was saying that the moment that you find yourself you a sinner and you have come back to the lord it's not that you go and keep sinning and keep sinning and say oh i have an advocate no it doesn't work like that in fact advocates were meant to be there to represent people when they have not committed crimes but now what happens? Advocates come to, to represent the real murderer and cause the murderer to go free. <laughs> I really don't know how God is going to deal with advocates. I don't know, really. Like personally, I don't know. Um, but I believe we also have some Christian advocates. I believe that they are there that are actually uh, able to use the law the right way because without lying. You know, lying, when we need to go to the direction of lies, Falsehood, idolatry, adulteries, all those things. The word of the Lord says they are outside, outside, outside there in the place of weeping and gnashing of teeth. This is not that someone. We are here to declare victory in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are here to declare victory. We have Jesus who is our faithful witness, is our advocate. That even here, these things are right to you so that you may not sin. These words that John is writing to the church, he writes so that they may not sin. But if any of you sins, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ. And he himself is the propitiation of our sins. Hey, the first time I came across that word, it was so difficult. But what it means is that Jesus is our, yani, he became the, he became the answer to, to, to the, to the, to the, to the, to the wages of sin. You know, the wages of sin is death. So Jesus died on behalf. God said, I got a debt with man. He has sinned, but he said, I'm going to pay it. So he sent his one and only begotten son. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And that's how we have our redemption of sins. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God as we continue to worship him. As we continue to worship him. Hallelujah. Angels. We, are, we worship God as we invite angels to minister to us. Father, we thank you. We thank you. I want us to take some quick prayer points even as we come to a time of the prayer points that we always share. I want you to make these prayers and, make, and declare them and say, Lord, give me the power to make use of the divine opportunity presented to me. God is going to release divine opportunities even during this time when it's difficult in the nations of the earth. The Lord is releasing divine opportunities, divine opportunities divine opportunities lift up your voice and declare it lord give me the power to make use of divine opportunities presented to me lord give me the power to make use of divine opportunities presented to me in the name of jesus i want you to pray and say lord help me to possess wisdom in the mighty name of jesus the word of the lord says that he who wins souls is wise my prayer is that indeed 
over this time that you begin to get into people's inboxes, your friends, you know them, and begin to just write to them. I thank God because of our sister Dawn, you know, how the Lord just healed her. When I saw her video, and I believe other people also saw her video, we began to engage in prayer. And particularly, I thank God for you because I mentioned to you, my friends, and said, go to our inbox on Messenger and leave a one-minute prayer there. Because Messenger does not allow more than one minute sometimes to send a voice. So we're able to pray over those channels. We're able to pray right here on these live videos. I think you can be able to go back down and find the time that she was able to share the video. And we thank God that over 28 days later, we have one successful, victorious healing from the Lord that we can record for the nations of the earth to know that our God is a righteous God, is a God who answers prayer, and that the same God who raised Jesus from the dead reigns upon our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let Arebo Shitara Bazete. Hallelujah. I want us to pray and say, Lord, I drink from the well of salvation. I drink from the well of salvation in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want you to pray for yourself a victorious prayer. Let the anointing of the overcomer come upon my life. Let the anointing of the overcomer come upon my life. Let the anointing of the overcomer come upon my life. Yes, yes, yes. I want you to pray that prayer again and pray. I remove my name from the book of failure in the name of Jesus. Failure is not my portion. Failure is not my portion. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I remove my name from the book of failure. I decree victory only on every side. In the mighty name of Jesus. I decree victory on every side. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I also want to pray for you that is struggling with your weight. You're at home. You don't know what to do. You have downloaded all those uh, exercise videos. You have downloaded every exercise. You have books and books about weight loss. You have paid gyms. Everything you have tried, you have not been able to be successful. But today, I want to make a prayer. And I want to believe God that God is going to cause something supernatural to happen to you. And that you begin to get the desired achievement that you, ne you desire. As the Lord helped me in 240 days to make sure that 30 kilos, at that time I lost 30 kilos. Now, of course, uh, more than that has gone, close to 32, 34 there, there about over the, the three years now that the Lord has helped me. I want to encourage you that you too can live a healthy life. It's very important that you get rid of those extra kilos. Yes, I'm talking to you, man of God. Man of God, I know that you are prayerful, you are spiritually enabled, the Lord has enabled you, but you are, win, you are losing the battle of the temple of the Lord. This temple belongs to the Lord. You should not allow it to continue going in the way of the unhealthy way. Return and take possession and be in control in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we continue to thank you. We ask for supernatural wisdom to answer all questions that may be sent to advance our ways, Father. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus that every acorn in our lives will be removed in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for giving us victory on every side. The Lord, even as we shall continue to declare your word this day, we know that God answers to prayer have been manifested in every category. Lord God, I take time to pray according to your word in Psalm 55. And as Lord, your word says, listen to our prayer. Do not ignore our plea. Hear us and answer us, Lord. As we have pleaded, my Father, our thoughts trouble us. Yes, we are distraught because of the enemy. What the enemy is saying, because of the threats of the wicked. When we hear of world markets crumbling, when we hear of uh, prophets of doom telling us large numbers of people are going to die around us. Lord, our thoughts trouble us. Our hearts are in anguish within us. The terrors of death fall around us, Lord. But Father, we want to pray that you may help us to come out of fear and trembling that have beset us. 
that horror that has overwhelmed us, Father God, that even we can say with the psalmist, oh, that I would have a wings of a dove, my Father, that we will fly away and be at rest and flee afar away and stay in the desert, that we would hurry to a place of shelter far from tempest and storm. Father, we cry as we lift up this voice to you, to you, O oh God, this morning, this night, this afternoon. Lord, we pray, confuse the wicked, confound their words. Yes, for I see violence and strife in the city. We lift up the nation of Syria. We lift up the nation of Yemen. We lift up the nation of, uh, the nation of Haiti, O oh Father, where they are still lifting up uh, voodoo and where they are worshipping uh, idols in Mexico. Father, I pray that you may come in your power, blinding them. In fact, Lord, I make a bold declaration that you will begin to snatch their leaders and give them a Damascus experience. Lord, even leaders in terrorist organization, that you who saved Paul and Saul and made him Paul, you are able, you are still here, Lord, you are still here. To cause Damascus experience on the people that are walking in wickedness, causing evil and planting evil in the land. Smash their eyes with blindness and lead the Ananias ministry to them. And let them be set free from their life of wickedness. And let them walk in your favor and in your ways. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray that you begin to record in the nations of the earth great testimonies of what you are doing. I pray that the media will not be silent when you do miracles. Lord, the media will prophesy and we do, they will give the platform required for you to be exalted in the nations of the earth. We know that the media has been used by the kingdom of darkness to advance the agenda of, uh, of, of wickedness, Lord, of, of uh, homosexuality, Lord, of witchcraft, of sorcery, Lord God, we have seen these things being released out in form of television, comedy shows, in form of cartoons, in form of, uh, in, in form of even uh, commercials. Lord, to try and tell the people it is okay, this thing is okay. But Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray for that Damascus road to begin to happen in, this, in the name of these people, in the name of Jesus. Father, we see these destructive forces are at work in the city. Threats and lies never leave its city. Father, your word says, if an enemy were insulting me, I could have endured it. Father, we want to pray against betrayal. People that God, um, you have given, they are, they have, that have been given to us to minister to them. The Father... It will not be a position like this where people that enjoyed sweet fellowship with us are the same people that are going out to insult and cause us, Lord, not to be walking in you in the name of Jesus. My Father, I decree and declare over every power of darkness this morning, this night, this afternoon, let death take them by surprise. Let them go down alive in the realm of the dead, for evil finds lodging among them. Lord, the wicked that have purposely declared that they will not change. We send this word to them in the name of Jesus. We send the word. Let the word fly like a scroll. On one side it's written, I will enter the house of the thief. In the other side it is written, I will enter in the house of the one who swears falsely. Lord God, send out your scroll in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray and decree it in the name of Jesus Christ. As for me, Lord, I call to God and the Lord saves me. Evening, morning, and noon, I cry out in distress. Father, I pray for a spirit of prayer to be released upon us as your church. That God, over this time, that God, we are going to call on your name. The Lord, we will lift you up. We will call on your name, Father. We will bless your name, Father. Lord, that we will call on you, my Father. We will call on you, Father. We will lift your name, O God. That we praise you, God. For you are worthy, O God. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy to be glorified, Father. That your power will be seen in our lives, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Pour out your spirit. Lord, we decree your victory in this day. We decree your victory in this morning. We declare your victory, Father. Here in your presence. We declare your victory, my Father. We declare your victory, Father, over this day. For we stand in awe of your grace. We stand in awe of your majesty. We stand in awe of your love, my God. Be exalted, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen and amen and amen and amen.
Amen and amen and amen and amen. The Lord has helped us and we've been able to pray and we've been able to read his word and make declarations. I bless the Lord for you. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for uh, my partners. Thank you. The Lord bless you so much for your love and support. I give glory to God for you. And let, let me give you a testimony before I go. Last night, when I was, uh, uh, when I was going home, uh, I took, I took a, a, a particular path. It was raining heavily. Visibility was a bit poor. And um, everybody was rushing to beat the curfew. Because here in Nairobi, we have a curfew until uh, 7 p.m. 7 p.m. the curfew starts. So at that time, as people were rushing to get home, there's a junction that I was going to enter. And there were cars that are coming from this side. Here we drive on the left. So the cars that are coming from the left should give way to the cars moving, which have the right of the way. Well... Because of the poor visibility, there was a small, there was a car which was a bit low. I was not able to see it. And I had stopped actually. But this car continued moving. And I just had my bumper go, g -g 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 crash, crash, crash. Ah, and it is raining. And there is flood. And oh my God, there is no police. It's such a chaotic scene. And um, I just sensed that the enemy wanted to get me angry or to even curse, you know, like if you have flesh in you, when something like that happens, you might find yourself actually cursing. You use a curse word. Eh? And I've, I've actually been with believers in their cars and somebody crosses them off the wrong way. And somebody says a bad word. You wonder, hey, what happened to you? And, you know, at that time, I realized I did not react like the way I would have reacted in another time because I was on the right. This guy found me stopped. And he crashed into my vehicle. <sighs> and it is raining. And I have sports shoes. I don't even have gum boots. So I got out of the vehicle. I looked at where I am. There were cars behind me. And now there was a big jam that was going to form because of this. So I stepped out. And I could not even assess the damage. Because the place where the, car, the cars had interlocked. Like he had hit it like this. It was interlocked like this. So inside the car, the guy looked at me with eyes of mercy. He said... I thought you gave me way. And his eyes were like denying, no, I did not hit you. I'm not the one in the wrong. Like his eyes were telling me, I am not the one on the wrong. No, you are the one on the wrong. This is the attitude this man had. I looked into his car and there were children in this car. You know, the Lord just told me, just let him go. So I looked at him, I said, wait. Move back, move back, so that it prevents the further damage. I said, move back. He moved back. Then as he moved back, I told him, okay, just cut that side. He cut that side. Then I just told him, go. He was waiting for me. Maybe I'm saying, go, we meet there, we talk. No. By the grace of God, I'm telling you, beloved, I'm one person who just likes keeping my things clean. And this one was a big dent. That is so bad dent, you know. I had not seen it until I got home. So when I got home and I looked at it, I just felt the love of God fill and flood my heart. You know, it just flooded my heart. Like, oh God, this is how you forgive. Like, yes, we are sinners. We do something wrong. We do something totally wrong. And you forgive our sins when we come to you and we beg for forgiveness. We've asked for forgiveness and you forgive us. So God, in his majesty and his power, allowed me by his grace to let that person go. Because again, as I continued to go, there was a traffic officer there. And I told that traffic officer, there's somebody who hit me down there. What should I do? I just asked him. The traffic officer told, him, told me, go to the police station, report his number plate, and tell the police, this car is the one that hit me and ran away. I said... I looked at it, it was about 10 minutes to the curfew time. I was like, I don't think I want to go that direction. I just let it go. I just let it go. I just let it go. And I bless the Lord because of uh, that ability to, you know, to just be able to enable us to do those kind of things by the grace of God. I know the Lord will take care of that, uh, um, you know, that panel beating and all that the lord will take care of it he's a great god 
he loves and he always is with the prosperity of his servant. So I give glory to God for that. And I give this testimony in the, t the presence of this congregation. I bless the Lord for you. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for being together with me uh, this wonderful morning. I want to continue to encourage you. We are going to get back into the midnight watch very soon as the Lord enables me. And um, I will let you know. Uh, so keep turned on. There's a place on this video that says turn on notification. Then it will tell you when Malcolm David Silla goes live on Facebook again. So make sure you tune that one on. Because when you are coming to make intercession, we do not announce the time we are coming. But basically, for my partners, we are able to share with them on WhatsApp. And that's a good thing. If you want to be able to join with me, my WhatsApp number is plus 254-722-8191. 9105 plus 254 and we'll be able to share and fellowship together in the mighty name of Jesus. We got the victory and we bless the victory and we glorify the Lord and we honor the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Paul Wilbur. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. So bless you and have a wonderful wonderful day in the name of jesus we glorify the lord for our life is in the lord we glorify we glorify you lord jesus we honor you lord jesus thank you jesus we worship you we bless your name oh god we give you glory we give you praise oh god we give you glory we give you worship our father we say lord you are worthy oh lord we say you are worthy. You are worthy, O oh Lord, as you say. My life is in you, Lord, and my strength is in you, Lord, and my hope is in you, Lord, in you, is in you. My life is in you, Lord, and my strength is in you, Lord, and my hope is in you.